In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create checklists within tasks in ClickUp. So first of all, we want to know how to create a checklist. Come down about two thirds of the way down the screen on the left in task view, and we can see this button, add checklist. Press that and we get a new checklist. Now, ClickUp is useful in that we can add multiple checklists to the same task. So we've got one checklist and we're going to add another one. In addition to creating multiple checklists, we can rename checklists so that we can distinguish one from another. So we've got checklist one, checklist two. We can reorder the checklists by moving them down to the bottom. So checklist one is now at the bottom and checklist two is above it. Like a traditional checklist, we can tick items off of our checklist and when they are ticked off, they'll be hidden away and we can show them again by pressing those that are completed. We can assign items within our checklist to an individual in our workspace, pressing the assign button and choosing an individual. But if we want to assign every item on a checklist to an individual, we can press these three dots, assign all to and choose the individual. If we realize we've made a mistake and we want to remove an individual from a checklist, we can click on the individual Press this little red cross and remove them from an individual task. If we decide we want to remove individuals from all tasks, sorry, all items on the checklist, we can unassign all. Okay, so we've got checklists, multiple checklists, we've got assignees, but there's a couple of other things we can do. If we press these three dots, we can also save this checklist as a template. And that enables us to reuse the checklist multiple times throughout across multiple tasks. And in order to use an existing template, rather than adding a checklist, we can press the use template button, which will appear when we hover our mouse over that area. When we have checklists in a task, we can actually see the progress of those checklists once we close the task. So if we click off two items, one from each checklist and close the task. We can see in list view that there is a checkbox with a two out of four next to it. That is indicating that there is checklists on this task and that two out of the four items on those checklists are done. And when they're all done, if we come back into the task and click off, sorry, check off all items across both checklists, and go back to task view, we'll see that it gives us four out of four. So that's how we can use checklists within ClickUp. If you've got any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comments below.